Hey, it's another week and it's an exciting week because it's kicking off a fun weekend, ACL Austin Music Festival. And I am accompanied with a bunch of my friends that flew in today. And um, this is Chelsea, this is my niece Rachel, and this is Jill. And we're excited to share t this week's um, hors d'oeuvre and cocktail pairing. So let's go ahead and start with the hors d'oeuvre. As you can see, um, it's served in little ramekins. It's a chili. It's a really special chili. So Rachel, why don't you go ahead and talk to us about this chili and what, it, what its name is. Um, this chili's name I named about a year ago. It's called Uncle Toby's uh, Texas Chili. And the reason I named it that was because my Uncle Toby makes it and I love him for it, among other things. And um, it's delicious and I look forward to it every time I come to Austin because it's made with buffalo and I had never had buffalo before. I had this and it's really savory, but there's honey in it, so it's sweet at the same time, and it's just different than anything else I've ever had. It's like a sophisticated chili, I guess you could say. And Jill literally just got off the plane like 15 minutes ago, so she's never had it, and I've been talking to her about it for quite a while now, so I think that you need to have your first bite yeah. of Uncle Toby's chili. I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this. Very first time. This is a real reaction. Mmm, good. It's really good. I definitely like the bison flavor. It gives it a different kind of texture and taste. I like how it's bold. It still has like your normal chili kind of base, but it's definitely different and gives it, I like the spicy kick to it. It's mm -hmm. really good. I, now I know why you like it so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, girl. Thank you. And you mentioned there's another reason why you're a fan of this chili. Um, Oh, and yeah, of course, I'm sharing a room with these two, and they won't have to deal with anybody, especially me having gas, because this is a beanless chili. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> Great. So, on to the cocktail. Um, super excited about this because um, I've been excited to feature this liqueur. It's a Canton ginger liqueur. I feel like this is on par with the Saint Germain liqueur. This is a staple in your liquor cabinet. It's very, very versatile and it's really delicious. And what we did with it was very interesting. It went well with the chili and it really kicks off the whole fall vibe. So Chelsea, why don't you go ahead and talk to us about what we ended up coming up with together with this drink. Okay, well, Britt had the awesome idea of taking an organic pumpkin pie pumpkin, which I would have never thought of, and making it a margarita, which is cool since we're having chili, we're in Texas. So we're doing the whole tequila thing. Um, but what was really fun in the process is after she baked it and pureed it, we kind of started throwing ideas around and she had all these great ideas for what she was going to put in it. And we sort of taste tested it until it was just right. So I would say, ooh, add more of this, take away this, let's do this. And we had the cool idea of I started out saying, let's run the glasses in sugar. And she said, oh, let's do it in sugar and cocoa. So we got this really great mix and it just kind of finished off the drink perfectly and now it's delicious. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite drinks we've ever ended up making. And if you notice the glasses, these are the same ones that I talked about in San Francisco. They're just in a different shape. They're still from the early 60s and they're gold rimmed. And as we talked about, we have the sugar and the cocoa rim, which is so fabulous. It plays well with the pumpkin. I love throwing uh, dark chocolate chips and pumpkin bread or anything. So this was a, a well-balanced drink. So let's go ahead and get to business. Um, I will have the exact recipe on the blog. All I've done here is I pre-made, again, a picture. I, I used a vintage find that I got at Goodwill. I just love, it gives such a homey thing. And instead of making a bunch of drinks out of the shaker, I did that in the pitcher and stirred it up with the whisk, because now I'm doing five martinis at once. So see how simple that is. And I just love the color of the pumpkin with the color glasses. <coughs> you all right, Rachel? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to drop ice. Anyways, we're almost there. Uh... <laughs> this is great. Amateur vlog hour. Anyway. <laughs> I got nervous. nervous. Yeah, I was afraid I was going to drop it. Here, pass that to Jill. Thank you. This is my first time having it since now. Awesome. I just love the, the cocoa with the pretty thing right here. Glasses. And that one's for our cameraman. So, mm. 
awesome. Yeah. So well, uh, really all right. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next week. We're about ready to have a killer week in ACL. Ciao. Yeah.